Welcome back guys. In today's video, Live in Like Lex got an installation failed message, error details, directory not empty. So if you get that message, which might look like this or a little bit different, to fix it, we're gonna need to delete what's already in place. Marketplace, HostGator Marketplace won't install WordPress over WordPress because they don't wanna copy something you already have there and overwrite it because people wouldn't like that. So if you get this message, then you have to go to your control panel. And I'm just getting there through the portal.hostgator.com link. All right, so you're gonna to go to that one and log in with the email and password that HostGator sent you. Then you're gonna click hosting. Now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna click file manager. All right. It's gonna take us away from this screen. And we're gonna find the domain name now that we just tried to install WordPress on. So it should be somewhere right in front of us. Um, hopefully yours is not as cluttered as mine. And here it is. Just try it on this one, rippleblogger.com. And so we can see there's a full WordPress install. If you have half of a WordPress install, you know, something might've happened, your internet might've cut out when WordPress was installing, or you might've closed the browser. It's unlikely, but there's just gonna be some stuff here in this folder we're looking at right here, where it'll say yourname.com and then you know a bunch of stuff. So whatever it is here, we have to delete it. And as long as you just delete what's in here, you'll be fine. You won't delete any other websites you're working on. So what I'm gonna do is click select all, and it'll highlight just the files right here in front of us, as long as you're doing it just like I'm doing. And now we can click delete and we can skip the trash and permanently delete these files. So we'll just double check that it's only deleting from this one domain name. Perfect. Now let's click confirm. Give it a second. And the directory is now empty, which we want. So now you can go back to your uh, portal, your customer portal, and you can launch quick install again. Click WordPress. Can choose that domain name again. Click next, and let's make sure that this one goes through. Install it. Installation complete. So great job, we fixed it. So that's how to clear your file directory um, if you get the files already exist or installation directory not empty error message when you're installing WordPress. I'll leave you with a link from HostGator support with some more troubleshooting solutions and I uh, hope that works for you guys. All right, so thanks a lot to Livin' Like Lex for asking a great question, really common, really popular, probably a lot of people have this question, so thanks for helping us solve it, Livin' Like Lex. And thanks so much for watching because I really enjoyed making this for you guys. Please make sure to subscribe as usual and we'll do our best to try to make WordPress blogging more fun for you. And I'll see you next time.